Hello everyone, uh, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this uh, old video you're gonna find a two brief uh, readings which are career and relationship to your representative star sign that refers to the week 13th to 18th of July 2020 and uh, as usual if you do want a personal reading you can check out the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such and another thing is that I have um, made the tarot class the tarot class a flash sale but I never announced it to you so you who are following me on YouTube you never knew about that it's 30% off and in order to get to this uh, to this sale uh, you have to message me on my uh, Facebook page and I'm gonna sort you out from there so uh, with uh, that being said, the sale is uh, on for one more week. And with that being said, laid back and enjoy the show. Right, so uh, in this video, we're gonna look at Gemini and uh, Gemini's career and relationship. So let's start with the career one. Let me shuffle the cards, guys, and we can get right into it. Alright, so uh, career-wise, the first card you got, Gemini, is going to be the King of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the Four of Swords, followed by, wow, the Magician. And then the last one here is going to be the Knight of Pentacles. So those, uh, those four cards, can you see them? Yes, you can. Um, so that is going to be rather... Well, it's going to be a good week, okay, in terms of career but uh, not very interesting week in terms of versatilities. Uh, in fact, you may at some point feel like a slave to your, to your own brilliance okay? and to your own uniqueness, if you will, because for what it seems here, you are gonna be more and more on demand for what you are good at, okay? To a point that you may end up needing to work extra hours, and in other words, you may experience crunches uh, throughout this week. Now, that is should you have a job. Uh, now, what you need to know, however, is that those crunches are going to be repaid back in a sense of that, you know, you're going to get extra, extra money, bonuses, uh, privileges, and so on and so forth. Uh, what you need to know here is that uh, because we do have the King of Pentacles at the start, the situation can be very, very generous, but also that generosity comes in a price, and that means that it's going to be very, very demanding as well. Now, because the King of Pentacles, that is a very unique situation, by the way, here, okay? It is where... <laughs> I don't know how you will be able to do it though, but you, because, and the magician sits into a third position as well. I mean, uh, you can make those around you to do the heavy lifting for you. And at the end, uh, you are to be appraised for doing the heavy li lifting yourself. So it's, it's kind of like, I, I, nobody is gonna mind it at all. I mean, you are not going to be confronted for that particular uh, for that particular incorporation. So I do believe that looking at those cards, now, now is the time where you do make a, a rather questionable deals, uh, where you do undertake a questionable project as well. Questionable in a sense, can you able to pull them through or not? Uh, and uh, at the end, you are also going to be uh, amazed yourself, you know, how capable you are because we do have the magician at, at the third position. And when that card comes in such a narrative like that, um, you are underselling yourself in terms of capacity and in terms of capabilities, in terms of knowledge as well. You, I, I'm not sure that you do realize what you truly are capable of when it comes to career development and unfoldment for that matter. And that week here through the situation crunching you to push yourself above the outer limits you have self-imposed to yourself, you're truly going to understand how far you can go and that itself is going to make you plan for the distant future in terms of career development. This week would be the very trigger under uh, that makes you start planning your own business. That week could be the trigger where you do plan to climb the ladder of the hierarchy uh, in the company you're working at. This week, it will be the trigger where you do understand that you are way more important than you thought you are for the career field that you are working in. 
Now, one thing, however, I want to emphasize here, it is the Four of Swords in a collision with the Magician as they stand into the second and the third position. You need to know that you are the predator, all right? And the rest are the sheep. You gotta be, you, you oh, how can I say it? Oh my God, I mean, even if everybody contri contributes to your unfoldment, that unfoldment is yours, okay? And only you should be the one who takes the credit for it because anybody, everybody is going to help you on their own free will. And as they do so, that does not make them eligible by right, if you will, to get credit for what have been accomplished. Because you are the magician at the end of the day, guys. And the magician simply has followers, okay? That, that's what the card is. It has followers, people who praise them, people who admire them, people who are ready to do anything to, to stand well in the eyes of the magician. And one last thing in terms of career, uh, you, you should not spend any resources you have in terms of money, knowledge and efforts because like said, investments are going to be returned with interests throughout the week itself. Now, as soon as you do uh, kind of like uh, establish your plan for the distant future, because that is going to be the result of all actions throughout this week, understanding how far you can go, all right, uh, that plan needs to be followed with rather simplistic and very um, steady paced type of, uh, type of uh, uh, execution. And the execution needs to be as well, um, how can I say, very determined in a sense of that you should not be uh, yielding when you do face a little bit of a setback here and there. And above everything else, you need to be convinced that what you are after, it is exactly what you want. So those who are uh, jobless right now, well, that week, uh, it looks like that uh, it will be a week where they may uh, face a, a bit of a, a contradictive proposition in a sense of that it will seem that someone will want to milk them for all they got for a, um, uh, for a mere shreds of rewards, okay? And while that may be the case at the start, uh, as they prove their worth, the payments, or rather like the benefits of the job, is going to um, pretty much increase with time. So, uh, moving next, we do have um, your relationship. So first one in terms of relationship here for you, Gemini, it is the Knight of Swords. Moving next, that is going to be the Tree of Wands, followed by the Nine of Cups. And the last one here, we do have the Four of Wands. So relationship wise, uh, this week, it is a week where you will have to make some kind of a um, some kind of a decision making and kind of like making up your mind as well uh, in regards to the future of your current relationship or in generally the future of your love life as well. Now the week itself is gonna hold the circumstances or the means under which circumstances you can find yourself uh, pretty much happy moving forward. So that, that pretty much speaks that throughout the week you can face the person who can make you happy or you can find the reason you are to find the reason why you should hold on to the relationship you are in and that reason itself is going to make you happy to a point where we end up with the four of wands here at the end of the reading which pretty much speaks for that um, you will be able to close a an unpleasant chapter so that is how it stands okay and that unpleasant chapter it could be just a partial thing of your current thing 
of your current relationship. Like, you know, you have arguments and now you're closing that argument. You have had a uh, rather poignant experience and now that experience is in the past and you don't think of it uh, any longer. But that decision or rather like that makeup of mind needs to be a consciously made. What I mean with that uh, and that is a pretty tough, uh, pretty rough thing. So we do have the Knight of Swords into the first position and the Three of Wands into the second one. <clears throat> oh my God, these people will not stop writing me. Um, so uh, pretty much here you have to admit to yourself that it's... Uh, you have to admit to yourself the it's I would say that way you can't have it all uh, in a sense of that a certain play at a certain point you know you have to also uh, think of the interest of your partner and that being said because the tree of one sits into a second position it means that you cannot have all of your expectations met okay and all comes to that throughout the week can you be okay with that or can you not and this is where the problem resides because the decision you gotta make yeah while it has to be a logical decision as well needs to be consulted with your emotions so if you can't overlook or if you yeah yeah pretty much if you can't overlook that this situation doesn't suit you and you can pretty much look the other side and move forward with the future and that thing doesn't bother you severely moving forward then the, the relationship you do have uh, it's it's salvageable uh, if if you do have any problems but if you can't then it will always going to bother you and can you live with that that's that's the question either way i mean whatever decision you do make should you be true to your emotions and your feelings and true to your logic as well uh you're going to end up happy and you're going to close a chapter in term of your relationship now this uh, week is going to be a, a very good week where you detach yourself from dependency like a love that it is not shared that you do love somebody but that person doesn't love you okay it will be an awesome week where you do resort grievances in between you and your partner it will be an awesome week as well where you can find something to keep you on moving until you do find someone that you can uh, find interesting and that you do love because the week itself points that uh, you are to find independent independable or rather like yeah independent um activities if you will and reasons to make you happy than just being in a relationship because what, what my personal thought is is that people are feeling happy because they think that only relationship and love can make them happy and that's not true so if you are single look around yourself there are so many other things that can make you happy you can substitute a relationship for the time being until you do find your own your right one so that being said this was your um this was your personal reading uh, love and relation, uh, love and career reading. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do hope that you do like the new version because I do enjoy the way that I'm doing them right now, and it's just how it's gonna roll from now on here on my channel. And uh, if you do, you're welcome to look at the the next ones that are gonna come in a few days. And until then, bye.